Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sonic Ryan Iron. Welcome back to the Strong Bad Cool Game for Attractive People, Episode 3, Battle, Battle of the Bands. We last left off, we were, you know, getting back into the swing of things, started things off, uh, started this new episode off, and uh, we just picked up this album cover. Oh, that was glitchy. <laughs> Come on in here. Oh, God. Man, that painting's creepy. Hey, little man. Where's my pick? What's new in your monosyllabic world? Cool types. Oh, band practice, huh? Have you kicked Marzipan out yet? She brings snacks. Fair enough. Huh. Well, this has been fascinating and articulate, but I got a fun machine to repair. See you later, S-Mad. Anyway, I think what we need to do now is... Band practice at Marzipan's is always good for a little heckling, but where should I put her house? I'm just trying to think of uh, where I can easily get stuff without having to, you know, backtrack too much. Let's go back to Bubs' stand. And actually, it would have been easy, easy, even easy if we just go to Strong Bad here. Because we need to get Strong Sad out of uh, his room in order to uh, get those some of those items. So, what we need to do is we put this stencil this on this fence. Like a good place for a stencil. And then we use the cheese on the stencil and pretend it's uh, graffiti. Now that's a spicy Ta -da. feeding. Excuse me, is this the fabled fence where all the hipsters vandalize public property with the names of their favorite bands? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Oh, good. I'm a snooty rock journalist looking for the next big thing to be pretentious about. Do tell. Security. Hmm. Now you see, we want to actually get Strong Sad to wear the uh, security jacket. So since Strong Sad is like um, curious about security as he thinks it's a band, let's give him the jacket. Check out this article of clothing. What is it? Uh, let's be it's serious. It's a security jacket. You know, the kind worn by security guards at concerts. You can't fool me. Huh? You don't think I'm cool enough to be a fan of that cool new security band that everyone's talking and vandalizing about? Uh, yeah. That's it exactly. Where'd you get that jacket? I have to have one! <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. These babies were snatched up by all the hipsters weeks ago. Oh. I guess I could let you borrow mine for a while. Really? As long as you promise not to get any failure on it. I promise I won't fail you. <laughs> Hip and there we go. Edville, here I come. How do I look? Like a guy who's totally tapped into today's underground music scene. I'm gonna show this off to everybody. And there he goes. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> hey, security guy! Is that what they call fans of security? Interesting. Well, hello yourself, security guy. <laughs> no, dummy. That's what I call dummies who've signed up to run security at Strong Bad's Battle of the Bands. Ta-da. You're wearing my security jacket, ain't you? Yes, but... So take this billy club and get securitizing. Okay. And there he goes. Right. Now, let's go back to the House of Strong. I think now he'll be, you know, busy elsewhere, so now we'll actually be able to go into the room and take a few things. Uh, I mean, I'm hoping so. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah, he's not here. Right, camera, yoink. With the total matic sudden shot at my side, I'll totally be able to shoot all sorts of automatic pictures. Suddenly. Yes. And yoink. Putting bad hutches in my pants. Hope I don't get bit. Da, 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 da. Uh, do I take you? Not sure which is duller, my brother or his padded safety sword. Let's call it a tie. Huh. Yep. Yeah, you gotta admit it's pretty crazy that he's got 
microphone, a metal detector, a concert form, a starfish sign, some aerosol cheese, uh, the defaced album, a camera, a bat hutch, and a fake sword. All in his pants. That's a lot of stuff. Anyway, now I... Trying to remember what to do next, because I know there's um, another particular item that you need, and I don't think I can do it here unless it is here, and I'm mistaken. No, it's not here. Right, uh, two marzipans, I guess. Here we are, and uh, oh, Zen Rock. Carefully arranging this rock in my pants will enhance my overall serenity. And uh, well, let's let's go in. Yeah, it's the first time we get to go inside of Marzi Pan's house, as she has her own band, the Cool Tapes. Marzi Pan. Take five, everyone. What is it, Strong Bad? What are you guys practicing for? The Cool Tapes have been invited to perform at a concert to benefit the endangered Lithuanian albino vegan bat. Like poor Pazquel over there. Thick yuck! Ugh. Stay on cool. You know it. <laughs> hey, cheat. Man, you gotta stop wasting your time with Marzipan and join a real band. I would have said that we have a deal with it, man! A three album deal with guaranteed four point back end? Ding dang, maybe I should join the cool tapes. Maybe you should stop interrupting our rehearsals. What's the wine, big guy? You can talk to him after rehearsal, Strong Bad. <sighs> Jesus. According to this, all I gotta do to win a day with Limousine is take a photo of the best album cover ever and drop it in the map. Oh. Whoops. Uh, okay. So yeah, the answering machine is actually an in-joke on the uh, Homestar Runner website, and as one of the cartoons is literally just viewing Marzipan's answering machine, and you'll hear like different characters in the background talking. <laughs> Pretty weird, but funny. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think what we do is talk to Bob again. Ah, uh, it's yes. You. Can I please start booking bands now? Not until you sign up some cool celebrity judges. All right, so we need well, celebrity I'll judges. See you later. I'm just trying to remember where is the. Because it's supposed to. Okay, I'm just going to point this out right now, because you know. You see this car? What we've got to do is we have got to try and replicate this album cover. If I can take a photo that looks like this crude drawing, I'm a cinch to win that limousine contest. And we've got to try and recreate that using this car here. Now you already see that I have already picked up this sign. So we've got to use one it. Fish, two fish, starfish, car fish, fish. Carfish. There we go. That's one of it. I think I now, like you, glowy starfish, you do not make me want to barfish. So we've got the star, but now we um, also need um, I bet you could sell like a dinosaur, fire, an and the like the this. bikini chick, or the bikini the bikini girl, I should say. Um. Let's go back to House of Strong. Let's just, you know, keep going back and forth between the different locations and hopefully something will turn up, shall we say. Because there's supposed to be some bleach somewhere. I 
wondering why we need bleach. You'll see why later. But we actually need put the Washing bats in the washer. Bats. Maybe someday I should wash my pants. Hmm. Clean bats. Guess I should have expected that. And the thing is, you need the bleach for those bats. But I'm kind of wondering where I'm supposed to find the bleach. Because, uh, like I said, I am not exactly that familiar with this particular episode. Maybe it's in the um, Strong Side's bathroom? Maybe? I don't remember. Probably isn't. Strong Side keeps the sink clean enough to eat. No. Strong Mad's gone at least. Ah, there's the uh, the stuffed animal. Ah, the mighty Pudonkis. His natural camouflage made him virtually invisible to predators in his native environment, which was apparently a clown's house. That will be useful for the uh, the photo. Um, no it's toilet. It's a miracle the toilet is still functioning after a workout the King of Town gave it last month. Ugh. You know what? Let's just do the email thing. You say mail, e, mail, e, mail. Actually, I don't want to. It's not story relevant, but it's just something that you can do, like in uh, previous episodes. Yeah. Um. I mean, I could have sworn. Maybe I'm mistaken. Let's go back to marzipans. <laughs> this is... Maybe I need to show marzipan the bats, maybe? I know I'm probably going to get comments up the wazoo saying, Oh, what are you doing? You're supposed to do this, this, and this. Um... Hey, marzipan. Take a look at these guys. Oh, what cute little fruit bats. They're lucky that no one wants to eat, wear, or snort them like the poor endangered Lithuanian albino vegan bat. Hey, the chief, I've got a great idea. Mm -hmm. I need a hot blonde to hold this sword for the greatest album cover ever. And you're the closest thing available. Mm -hmm. Ta -da. I knew I could count on you to cheat. I'll see you later at the shoot. Don't forget to wear a bikini. Oh, ho, ho. Ugh. Always keeps your kitchen boarded up when strong mads around. <laughs> I don't see how a concert's gonna keep this guy from drowning in Darwin's gene pool. Don't you listen to him, Pasquale? Hmm. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm gonna win this episode here, guys. Um. I'm a bit confused on. What I'm supposed to do, I've completely forgotten. I know you're supposed to find uh, the bleach for the bats, but I don't know exactly where it is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this, this part here. And the next part, hopefully, I'll start with uh, me finding the bleach. <laughs> and hopefully, we can, you know, get further into this. But anyway... That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of SBCG4 OP. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more, and join me next time where hopefully I find the bleach. Yes. Thank you, and goodbye.